desperation and ingenuity help us to get things done. And then sometimes it's a combination of both. When we're desperate, we become creative and we figure out how to do what needs to be done. When we lived in Haiti, um, at the end of our driveway that when it came into our house, there was a well with a water well with a hand pump and it served the community. The closest place to get water that was drinkable otherwise was several miles away. And so it was um, a great service to the community to have this well. Hundreds of people came every day to get water and they brought five gallon buckets, gallon jars. There were women, men, children. There were always lots of people gathered around the well waiting their turn to get water. Well, one day something broke in the pump. We didn't know what was wrong. We didn't know what it was, but the pump was not working. There was no water. And not only we, but everyone else for a mile around was uh, in a difficult situation because we had no water and we had several miles to go to get water that was usable. So I didn't have many tools and I am not a mechanical person. I don't know about mechanical things, but I didn't, and I didn't have many tools. I had an adjustable wrench, a screwdriver, a pliers, a hammer, a saw, a handsaw. That was basically what I had. I was in no way equipped to take that pump apart to figure out what was going on, but we had to do it. So somehow we got, there were four bolts that held the head of the pump onto the well casing. We managed to get those off and we started hoisting the pump up out of the well. I didn't have pipe wrenches. I didn't have a way to get the, the pipe that was screwed onto the bottom of the pump head off of it. So we just started hoisting the thing up. It went higher and higher and there were uh, two 16 or 20 foot sections of pipe on that well. The well was about 60 feet deep and there was about 40 feet of pipe on the, 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 and the well on the well head that went down into the well. Inside that pipe, it was about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half steel pipe. And inside that pipe, there was a rod that attached to something down at the bottom. I don't know what, but it was a rod that was, that went down through that pipe. Well, we got it up higher and higher and higher, and we were about halfway up a second section of pipe. So we had the, 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 the head of the, the pump with the handle up about 30 feet in the air. And all of a sudden it got off center and it started swinging and it came shoop, boom right down in the cornfield. So we were able to lift the red pipe the rest of the way out. But now we had two sections of pipe. The first section that was up close to the well head, the pump head was fine. But the second section had a 90 degree bend in about halfway down the pipe. So I rounded up some more tools. I don't know what we used, but that, those two pipes were screwed together in the middle. And so we managed to get that apart. And then we discovered that the sucker rod that went down through that pipe also had two sections and it had come unscrewed. So we needed to get that back together. So we got that back together. Now we had the problem solved, we had it fixed, but we had a pipe that had a 90 degree bend in it. So <laughs> it wasn't like, it wasn't real. It was kind of a more of a, a, a gradual bend, but, but the pipe, yeah, it went two different directions. So I said, how are we going to get the pipe straightened out? Well, the people said, there's a mechanic down the road. He can straighten it. I said, well, it has to be really straight because that rod goes down through the middle of that pipe. And if that rod scrapes on the side of that pipe, 
it's gonna wear the rod and the pipe and it's not gonna it's it's gonna eventually it'll ruin the pipe or the rod so that pipe has to be really straight so that rod doesn't touch the sides oh they said he could fix it so we carried the, the pipe that was bent uh, in an L shape we carried it down to the mechanic this guy was amazing uh, he could do stuff that I, I, I don't yeah I, I just never met a mechanic like him um, so he looked at the pipe and he said, yeah, he can straighten it. And in front of his shop, there was a big tree and it came up about four feet and then it had a Y and divided into two trunks going up. So he had some of his men come out and they stuck that pipe between the, the Y of the tree between the two trunks. And then he had a whole bunch of men run against the end of the pipe and they would bend it. And he was getting it more and more straight and eventually... He got it fairly straight and I told him it has to be really straight because that rod can't touch the pipe when it goes down through the center. He said, I can, I can, I'll get it straight. So after a while, eventually when it was almost there, he would roll the pipe and he'd look at it and he'd see where it needs to be bent. And then he'd put that in the tree and then they'd run against it again. And eventually he got that pipe straightened out. So we took it back. We screwed it all back together. And now we had everything back together. Now we're figuring out how are we going to get back in the well because we still have to get it up and then get it down in the well we have to get it up 40 feet so that we can get it down in the well so we tied ropes to it we sent people out different directions we took a ladder and held a ladder up against it and gradually we tilted it up 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 until we got it straight enough we got the bottom of the pipe in the well and gradually we left it down in we got it down in, we bolted it back together, and it worked. And we had water. Oh, everybody was so happy. But it was desperation, and it was ingenuity that got that fixed, and the skill of a mechanic, who was amazing. Those three things came together. Skill, desperation, and ingenuity, and they accomplished something, and they solved the problem that we had that day.